Hello, my name is Naoki Komatsu. I'm a professor in Graduate School of Human and Environmental Studies, Kyoto University. Let me introduce our research. I am an organic chemist working with nanomaterials such as one-dimensional nanotubes, two-dimensional nanoseeds such as graphene, hexagonal boron nitride, molybdenum, and the tungsten disulfides, and three-dimensional nanoparticles like nanodiamond, boron carbide, and iron oxide. The concept of our research is apply organic chemistry to nanomaterials, shown here, meaning that we try to apply methodology and the principles in the field of organic chemistry to various nanomaterials, including carbon nanomaterials. For carbon nanotubes, we applied host gas chemistry to their separations. Here is the latest achievement by Chen Kun. Hi, I'm Guo Qingcheng, a doctoral course student from China. I joined Comas Lab since 2018. My research focuses on the carbon nanotubes. We have synthesized cyclic compounds to interlock carbon nanotubes with specific diameters. The interlock carbon nanotubes can be dispersed and used for some applications, for example, sensors. We are also interested in the helical structure of carbon nanotubes. We have enriched left or right-handed carbon nanotubes through the interlocking. I'm also expecting their unique optical, electrical, and uh, catalytic properties. For the two-dimensional nanoseeds, non-covalently Covalently functional nanoseeds have been applied to cancer therapy as shown here. Kang Kun and Zhao Sun will introduce their research. Hello everyone, I'm Hong Yu Kang from South Korea. I'm a PhD student in a Komatsu lab since 2019. So my research focuses on 2D nanomaterial for cancer therapy drug. And today I'll show you my data from confocal microscopy. So here, this green part is cancer cell membrane and red part is my 2D nanomaterials. So we can successfully prove my 2D material can go inside cancer cell membrane, which means it can use the cancer therapy drugs. Hi, I'm Li Zhao, a visiting scholar from China. I'm collaborating with Professor Kumats for 14 years and uh, this time I stay in Komatsu lab for four months as a visiting scholar. My research is focused on preparing functional nanomaterials for biomedical applications. Recently, we prepared boron 10 enriched boron nitride nanoparticles grafted with polyglycerol. This nanodrug can efficiently accumulate in the tumor tissue of mice and eradicate the tumor by boron neutron capture therapy, BNCT. BNCT is a promising cancer treatment with a little side effect using boron 10 by neutron irradiation. I hope that I can apply this cancer treatment to human in the, little, in the near future. That three-dimensional nanoparticles have been functionalized by polyglycerol to give enough hydrophilicity for in vivo applications. The details will be described by Adewele and the Yusa. Hi, I'm Dr. Adewale Oladipo, a postdoctoral fellow from the University of South Africa. I'm here in Komatsu lab for four months as a visiting research scholar. My research is focused on engineering cobalt ferrite nanoparticles for multi-stimuli responsive chemodynamic therapy. I'm here to leverage on the expertise of the Komatsu lab in the PG functionalization of nanoparticles to make them biocompatible and stable. I intend to use this cobalt ferrite nanoparticles functionalized with PG as 
an antioxidant machinery for regulating tumor microenvironment. At the end of this study, I intend to achieve a novel, non-invasive, and efficient treatment for cancer therapy, which is beneficial for both Japan and South Africa. Hi, um, my name is Jie Yu. I'm a doctoral student from China. Um, I joined the Convanced Lab in 2022. I've been working with the hardest material with nanometer size, a nano diamond for bio application, more specifically for cancer therapy. I'll explain my research using this manga. If we imagine human body as a city and a cancer as a burning house, we need to find a way to stop the fire. Otherwise, the whole city will be burned. If we inject nanomaterials such as nano diamond into human body, normal nano diamonds will be recognized as foreigners and captured by microphage, who is the defender of our body. But with two modifications, polyglycerol grafting and uh, packeting ligand conjugation, nano diamond can escape from microphage and reach the cancer tissue. I hope that a chemically modified nano diamond save human life in the future. If you are interested in your research, please join us.